There's been a lot of news online about Kanye and Adidas. For some reason, whatever it may be, people are just now waking up to the idea that Adidas have, you know, basically got $500 million worth of Yeezy stock that they don't know what to do with. I think it was quite a widely reported this was happening anyway before they cancelled their deal. This was one of the sticking points or one of the hurdles that had to come over. They had to come, you know, come over you know, or go over or whatever that, that term is, um, essentially deciding, hey, are Kanye West anti-Semitic, you know, comments bad enough to make us be okay with writing off this exorbitant amount of money? You know, nearly blood, like, basically half a billion, and maybe and maybe more because we don't align and we don't kind of endorse what he's saying. Like, should we really be doing it? Should we really be cutting ourselves to spy our face, or should we weather the storm, keep it quiet, and then sell, and then slowly but surely over time, quietly kind of remove ourselves from the deal? Because that could happen also. But I guess because of public pressure, maybe because of people are actually in the company themselves i feel like this is one of the first deals that you see with a celebrity especially someone like kanye who's really big and clearly somebody who's got a lot of influence who can sell a lot of stuff and is somebody that could bring a lot of value to most companies i think this is one of the first times where sometimes even the talent wasn't enough to put up with his behavior and i feel like he legitimately pissed off people on the inside like actual people and i think i come to think of him um, or i remember one particular incident well, that was really unfortunate for Kanye, maybe not, maybe his ass, who knows, but during his whole, whole war, that was a time as well where he, um, where he got, answer, yeah, his bank got closed. So I think his JP Morgan bank, I think, sorry, if I'm not mistaken, maybe Chase Bank, regardless, his bank that he does most of his um, banking with for Yeezy got closed. So I'm assuming all the money coming in from Yeezy goes on there and maybe the deals, whatever it may be. And, also one and then he started attacking the bank online and kind of ranting and raving and kind of being you know angry that the account got closed and then he started posting the the slipping um in boardroom lineup of people that work at the bank or whatnot and then i guess one of the people that works at the bank is also a really high-ranking adidas um executive i think it was some asian lady and um, so i think he singled her out also so you can only imagine you know the kind of beef he was in at the time he was really going to war with these executives so those executives just had enough and said you know what we're going to end the deal and you don't really get that usually sometimes you get a lot of kind of public pressure from brands and journalists and maybe the public pushing the brands to make a decision and then maybe you know they just get fed up of having to deal with it and just say you know what, enough let's just end it but very rarely do you get a brand saying you know what we just don't like you as a person we're going to end it ourselves like you can go and jump off a flipping bridge we hate you and that's what happened to kanye so unfortunately for him it happened what can you do anyway so this story's been doing the rounds that I don't really know where this came from because so far no one's really no one's really confirmed it and no one's really denied it and no one's really kind of dismissed it. So this is Coach Washington Post. It says, hey, that's a $500 million worth of Kanye West sneakers and no good options. And then you've got this other story here from the Rob Report that says Yeezy could set fire to $500 million of unused Yeezys. But then you've also got other stories that are saying that Kanye could be doing a deal with adidas like this could be a new deal on the horizon coming up which is weird right um let's go here so this is courtesy of xl again no good sources for this but this is what people are saying it says Kanye West and adidas reached an agreement to sell 500 million dollars worth of remaining yeezy stocks so let's go back to the washington post article it says shortly after um, an NFL star Michael Vick was indicted in July 2007 from running a dogfighting operation, Nike suspended the release of his sorry of his signature shoe line. Vick went on to plead guilty and have his contract suspended, but less clear is what exactly happened to all those sneakers. Nike would not say, of course, they burned them like Burberry burned all their shit. Um, but industry analyst Matt Powell believes they destroyed it. Um, believes it destroyed the supply of Air Zoom Vic Fives. What do they even look like, actually? I never, I never knew what they ended up looking like. Do we get an idea? What did it, what did they miss out on? What did the Air, Air Zoom Vic Fours look like? Oof, bit tough in it. To be fair, maybe they didn't lose out on much because these look kind of kind of horrible. Not gonna lie, but, but big up Michael Vick regardless. Um, Adidas now has a similar dilemma with the Yeezy line. Observers say, except on a scale unseen in the fashion industry. Months after cutting ties with rapper and fashion designer Kanye West over his flagrant anti-Semitism, the German company on February 19th warned that it was looking for massive losses if it could not sell its inventory, raising questions about its options for the now-tated brand, including literally burning the shoes. The funny thing is, so many of these ADAC executives were flexing and talking big game, like we 
owned the IP. We can sell it without the Yeezy branding, which I thought was a bit dumb, but also could work because I think there's more fans of Yeezys who don't really give a fuck about a Kanye as opposed to all Yeezy fans being Kanye stands, myself included. I love the guy. I love his artistry. love how his motivational speaking he is and all that malarkey, but... I'm not that much of a stand that I'm not going to buy the Yeezys because Kanye got, you know, unceremoniously booted because he said he flipping loves Hitler. I'm not really that bothered about it. But at the time, a lot of the executives were flexing, acting as if like it wouldn't be that much of a big deal. Now look at them crying everywhere. That significant shift from its outlook in November when officials said that they could recoup exactly a vast majority of losses by rebranding the distinctive shoes with retail from roughly $200 to nearly $600 and selling them at a discount how dumb would that be if they just would have they could have just easily in my opinion they could have if they wanted to i think this would have worked they could have dropped the shoes every week until they ran out on this main yeezy supply site or a site similar and just had them sell out just on that basis just every other week drop a drop a whole new batch of shoes whatever's left over you kind of you kind of you know remove them from the site drop another batch keep doing it every other week and they would have easily sold out resellers would have copped them fans like myself would have copped them it would have been an easy thing to do, get done to be honest you could have closed that chapter and kind of moved on but in this regard, it's all a bit weird. Um, because how much are you going to offer Kanye in this new deal? What's his role? What do you meant to do? Do you meant to come out and say, hey, it's okay, Adi, it's okay, my stands and my flipping, you know, loyal fan base out here. Hey, that's still cool. Buy the shoes, buy the shoes. Like, what? You're going to pay him to basically be an ambassador and an influencer and a spokesperson or like a propaganda agent or something to kind of make it seem like it's all chill and it's not. Anyway. It says here, the predicament offers a glimpse of what happens when a fashion line meets a sudden end. And experts say the decision, which Adidas has said is still months away, will especially be challenging because the company faces ethical and financial tri tripwires at every turn. Newly installed CEO Bjorn Golden signaled this month that the company might not sell any existing product, which Adidas valued from $300 to $500 million. The company said it could lose much of its 1.2 million euros, um, billion euros sorry, in revenue this year and 500 million euros in operating profit it cannot um, repurpose the merchandise he's quote um no a quote from another analyst said what makes this so dramatic is how big it is said wedbush analyst tom nickett noting that the Yeezy brand was do doing nearly two billion a year in revenue holy shit that's a really big substantial part right this is business and abruptness which has happened is also remarkable that's why i felt even at the time i was like I think that's why Kanye maybe had so much confidence because I think any serial biz, any real serious, hard nosed, you know, emotionless landlord ex businessman would have never cut ties with Kanye. They would just, they would just let it ride out. Like if Balenciaga read out with flipping Demna, right? And that flipping kiddie diddling BDSM thing, then they could have easily read out the anti Semitic thing. I know at the time it was wild, but. That's what a real businessman would have done. They would have just read it out. They would have kind of put their head in the sand. They would have put out vague statement after vague statement saying loads of words, but not really saying anything. They would have said, we're, we're for, for everybody, we're for love. They would have said everything. They would have, said, they would have done what, what Kim Kardashian did, where she didn't publicly come out and disavow Blenshaga, but basically said, we're working on something and we are, you know, making sure this doesn't happen again. Basically, never disavowed them, even though she they did stuff with kids, right? And she's trying to pretend to be Mother Teresa. It was like, nah. Let's just keep this business. You keep that vague. You keep that tight. You keep your counsel. And then when the coast is clear, you pop back out again. That's what they probably should have done. The company ended his relationship with the entertainer who now goes by Ye in late October, following a string of controversies beginning with him appearing in a White Lives Matter t-shirt at his Paris Fashion Week show. Days later, he made the anti-Semitic comments on Instagram and Twitter, and then doubled down on the rhetoric in the podcast. He honored a personal interview with Fox News with Tucker Carlson. Seventies of political leaders and judicial organizations condemned the artist and called out Aidas, which was a slower to act than any of his business partners, because they had much more on the line. Of course they were. But Jack and JP Morgan Chase, that's the bank I mentioned, another company to end the relationship with him weeks later and Gap announced it would no longer carry his product yeah the Gap the Gap ending felt a little bit more personal I felt like Gap was probably more personal even than Aguilas I feel like Gap he already was on a tightrope I don't think they liked him overall I feel like he still has leaked um, meetings with um, executives where for every reason Kanye doesn't like sitting down in meetings he likes to stand up so he's shouting at them and saying his stuff and just being angry at the drops and the lack of change in retail because I guess Gap just didn't want to do what he wanted to do I think they wanted to have a you know a celebrity collaboration because it helped them sell some more items but I think Gap one of those countries there's few of them exist where they're kind of just happy doing what they're doing 
even though they probably could innovate, it probably could help them if they kind of spruce things up a bit. They're just happy kind of trudging along. And, you know, Kanye came in and tried to take a hammer to everything. And they were like, no, 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 no. Not everything around here is a nail, my friend. Relax. We're doing pretty well. We're not doing as well as maybe you'd want us to do, or maybe as well as we probably could, but we're content. You know what I mean? All our executives and our and our flipping partners and stuff get paid on time. Everyone's getting their bonuses. Stores are still open. We're not letting go of our retail staff. You know what I mean? They're they're decent. So I feel like when he pissed them off, they're like, you know what? Let's get him the fuck out of here. He thinks he's owned this place. He thinks he runs this place. No, 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 no. We were here before. Kanye will be here after him. And that's where I feel like they cut that quickly. Like they got the stuff out of the shop floors fast. All the advertising gone. Done, done, diddy. And they just shipped all the shit off to China. And it all ended up on flipping Taobao for thinkers well, for a while. Then that got taken down. And, you know, now I don't know where that stuff has ended up. Um, Adidas could still move forward with a plan to sell the merchandise at discount without the label said Nikik um, transforming them into something of zombie Yeezys <laughs> hilarious but that's quite frankly a, a risky proposition says Nikik not really man I think they underestimate sneakerheads honestly you put that stuff out there like I said you put a whole you put together a release calendar of Yeezys or maybe you don't tell people you just tell people the first week um, you, t you give them seven days or five days ahead of time um, heads up you drop them you give them 24 hours or a weekend to, to pay and to put their orders in whatever sells out sells out but then you know, next Monday you start with a new fresh batch of shoes you do that every other week I guarantee you you'll sell a lot of those units a lot Another option is liquidating the remaining merchandises through discount stores like TJ Maxx or selling it by a pound um, to a go-between who could then distribute it to retailers in developing countries, said Mark Cohen, a Columbia University di Director of Retail Studies. That's going to be crazy. Something so valuable end up at TJ Maxx's. Like, not the odd pair, like, absolute, like, not even the odd shitty pairs like I just see here, but actual legit pairs. Like, not the Quantums and shit. Or the, was that thing, the free 80s or whatever they called, the basket ones. Actual good ones end up there. It's going to be riled. Um, experts said the liquidation is a normal part of the retail business. For example, All Birds, a shoe company, announced in August that it would be liquidating nearly $12 million um, dollars in clothing after unsuccessful pushing active wear leggings. Imagine buying all wear leggings, man. Whoever, whoever, whoever did that deal or whoever pushed that forward as an initiative, they probably got fired, I'm assuming. You can't be pushing all birds who make already terrible shoes to then get into fucking active wear and then it flops. You can't keep your jobs, surely. You'd imagine so. Anyway, it continues. The company did not respond to the questions about how the products were, dis were dispersed. Cohen is convinced the Yeezys will eventually find their way to consumers. Almost everything you can imagine that is manufactured in the world is sold somewhere, somehow at some price, and those high-value Kanye West sneakers are going to wind up on people's feet. Maybe people who value the Kanye Association or people who don't care, they just want fresh, clean, modern footwear. Another option is to destroy the shoes and pr pr practice the some that some experts say is common in the industry despite analytical um, environmental concerns. Nike cut shoes in, decided not to sell at the store in New York Soho. Other fashion brands such as Coach, Victoria's Secret, Louis Vuitton have seen negative concern in recent for destroying their merchandise in an effort to preserve the value of the brand. Yeah, they don't throw them in the bin, they burn them. Burberry used to do that thing a lot. In 2018, City of Burberry said it ended the practice of burning sort of merchandises that it once destroyed some 37 million worth. Imagine hating people, imagine hating poor people so much that you're willing to burn $37 million instead of just giving it away. But I said it would be the worst outcome and one that makes of literal financial sense and comes with its own public relations pitfalls. Elizabeth Napier, an assistant professor at the University of Toledo, who has studied how fashion companies dispose unsold products, said the best option of would be to donate the shoes to a disaster relief. <laughs> Yo, university lecturers have no idea what to talk about. Assistant professor Elizabeth Napier, you need to go and take a nap yourself, my dear. That is an incredibly bad idea. Donate them to where? They're still going to resell them. Do you think people that work in flipping charities and places want to be dealing with unsold pairs of Yeezys? They'd resell them and then give them, and put that money into the charity they're working for. Or there's probably resellers that work there also. This is crazy. I don't know why they don't just come up with right, right now and do that. Because it's a bad idea, Napier. Um, the issue speaks to the inherent risk of the celebrity deals, Cohen said, which rely on the consistencies of the star's talent and popularity. These sometimes um, personally take a left or right turn, which leaves their counterparty in a blind side and the behaviour they're exhibiting doesn't align with the host's company values and his guess is endlessly tricky. Yeah, this is probably why that Travis Scott, unfortunately, that Astro World tragedy is probably going to hurt Travis Scott more than anything his career has ever, you know, he's ever gone through his career because Travis 
Travis was always seen as like a cookie cutter brand friendly guy but when that tra that show where travesty happened and he's uh, subsequently how he acted about it and just his lack of maybe concern and empathy about the whole thing and just his need to kind of get back on stage and put albums out and all that malarkey and then obviously the you know, finding out how badly organized that festival was it's going to make other brands aligning themselves with him really difficult because immediately people are going to always mention in a copy what happened at Astro World, or you know it's going to be tainted with that a little bit and maybe the sentiment around him has kind of changed so that's the issue but i feel like if you're collaborating with kanye somebody of that level and that notoriety i just feel like you're going into it knowing the risk and you should be willing to accept it and just kind of weather the storm and just keep your head down and it'll go away because it did go away it took a long what time i know he went out alex jones and he was saying loads of madness but eventually he got quiet again right he even he got bored of himself and i feel like if you're a business and you're in the business of selling things you can't be picking and choosing who you sell things of based on their political or societal leanings you just have to kind of go with it unfortunately unless you do one of those kind of brands that says nah i don't work with people who don't agree with the things i agree with but i think overall it's a bit of a bad way to go about things personally for me nike which ended up um re-signing vic in 2011 saying the whole athlete acknowledged saying the athlete acknowledged his past mistakes so they're going to buck dance nice in dog fighting recently faced another dilemma in october after carry even tweeted the photo and linked to her refused to do a disavowed anti-semitic film the oregon based sneaker giant eventually cut ties to nba star and said they would not release a carry Irving the Kyrie sorry eighths which is hilarious considering who else they've got signed at the moment in the statement to the post Nike said it was prioritizing donating recycling Kyrie eight products although it did not say how Nike has programmed to transform clothes um no transform what is considered unsellable inventory into materials for things like chin floors and even other shoes it's unclear whether Adidas has considered that option but Adidas said it would be losing uh one Adidas uh only gained some goodwill by donating a few basketball courts no matter what that does power says they're losing all the way around there are no winners of this one so the only winner will be yay of course because if he does work out some deal even if it's just a deal just kind of just like i don't know even if it's just a deal with like to just give him money or to kind of just end whatever court case is maybe still ongoing he's still gonna view us as a victory right because they said he was cancelled they said you know because he just wanted to prove the fact that there's nothing he can or cannot say you know what I mean? He can say whatever he wants to say and he said it and life hasn't really changed that much for him really. Do you know what I mean? Whoever he's, fr he didn't really probably, he probably knew who his real friends were ever since he kind of said he loved Trump and Trump was his dad. So him losing celebrity friends wasn't a big deal. He probably lost them back then. So, you know, that life is pretty much done. He seems to have a pretty small circle. He just tries around his wife really, assistants, that's it really for the most part. Maybe design studio people. He kind of keeps his counsel. So, if there is a winner, it's definitely yay. And of course, his fans are going to be gloating as hell if this ends up going through as well. But yeah, weird thing. No one's really confirmed or denied it, which again, I think speaks to the fact that it's maybe in the works and it's up in the air. I think this goes to speak to it because no one really come out from either side and really said, we haven't got a deal. It's not happening. They've kind of just let the news kind of play out, but no one's obviously standing by it either. Most people are kind of reporting that thing are mostly kind of, you know, blogs and like um, hip hop type platforms are reporting that they've got a deal in place. But, you know, it's seeing anywhere reputable saying that that deal is happening. But the fact that no one's coming out and denying it also shows to me that clearly there's some sort of, you know, um appetite for it because they want to make a deal because you know no one wants to write off half a billion if you don't have to so that makes a lot of sense but i just don't see the sense in getting him on board uh just to sell some shoes even though you don't really want him on board and then what's he meant to do like how's he meant to rile rile people to get them i don't know it's just a bit of a strange one that they're kind of going with but again what do i know